Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yes! Yes. Hey everyone, I'm Kelly. And I'm Mimo. Welcome to another episode of Lost in Translation. Last time, Katie, Jasmine, and Mimo pulled a fast one on me. But this time, we're gonna pair Katie and Jasmine together and we're in control. If it's your first time here, we take our recipe and put it through Google Translate. We go from English to Kurdish to Burmese to Swedish and many, many more and then back to English to get a hilariously translated recipe. Let's give them the recipe. Why not? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just got so scared. Three, two, one. A, a big, big bird! bird. <laughs> it's like Big Bird! bird. What? Yeah, I don't like when they like flap their wings. That's like, all they can much. do. <laughs> Let's just talk about our strategy going into it because there's two of us. I feel like we might mess each other up second guessing. I think so. Step one, pour two cups candy, one cup drinking water, two teaspoons yellow, and one teaspoon orange juice into the flour. Oh. Pour two cups candy, do we think that's sugar? Yes, I think that is sugar. One cup drinking water, assuming that's just Tap water. They said this was hard, and this seems really easy. So now I'm like, <laughs> I start looking. Ooh! What? What? I don't think they mean two cups Skittles. Do you? Yeah, but we should try it. I think we need a bowl. Okay. The bowl is the flour. The flour is the bowl. Mm -hmm. Like a flour could be like a bowl. You're just eating candy. Come over here. I think if we figure out what orange juice is, it might help inform what sugar we use. One teaspoon orange extract. Is one teaspoon of extract usually a lot? Oh yeah, because one teaspoon of marmalade is weird. Very little. Orange extract is probably Sounds the way great. to go. Oh, are we making a glaze? Like, no, oh. that's a lot of water and that's a lot of sugar. They're laughing so hard. I think it's orange zest. No? <laughs> yeah, and one cup of water is too much for two cups of powdered I... sugar. I agree. You guys gotta move on. Uh, I'm not gonna just you win. You better be nice. I'm not gonna win. I'm gonna Okay, so two cups of sugar, yeah? Yeah. Do you know what it feels like right now? It feels like we're in an escape room. One cup drinking water, so regular water. I think it's fun because I'll get so scared up here, but Katie makes me feel comfortable. Same. What do you think yellow is? So it could be lemon. Or is it the juice of the orange? Big Bird is yellow, though. I'm rolling out my lemons so that the juices be flowing. My husband always cuts up the lemon and then is like, oh, I needed to get the zest. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. We're just gonna eyeball it? Yeah. Two teaspoons of yellow, which we think is lemon juice. I think, yeah. When you looked at the lemon, I felt magic. I was like, that's right. Into the flour could be pour two yada, yada, yada ingredients into a bowl. Uh -huh. Step two. Hey, the party come and see me. Give up the cup and the cup, but not the cup. Raise to one side for cooling. I feel like we're in a children's book. I think it's mix until incorporated. Divide this into two, but not all of it. What if give up the cup, it's like reduced by a cup? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? We're gonna mix this until it reduces, but not the cup. And then raise one, so then remove from the heat. I, no. Oh, you know what? what? I think okay. may the party come and see me was bring to a boil, then simmer or something. Oh, I bet oh. it was something like that. So we're gonna bring this to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and then let it cool. I think like right now we're acing it. Text if we are. <laughs> so this is brought to a boil, slightly reduced, and we are going to move it off the heat. Let's move on to the next step. Step three, add the one cup Italian cheese, quarter cup of sweet dripping milk, Ew. and one teaspoon of hot vinegar. So here you are, beat to join, send it. <laughs> beat to join, send, send it. it. Is Italian cheese ricotta? There's stuff in the fridge. Yep. I did say ricotta, but there's also mus, mus, mus. I always want to put an R. Mascarpone. Mars Capone, but it's. Mascarpone. Mimo says it so nicely. Hey, it Italian says Italian flag. green cheese. It's Italian. Okay. We're doing that. Quarter milk. cup sweet dripping milk. In my head, I am either thinking milk or condensed milk. Or heavy cream? Whipping mm. could be Whipping? dripping. <gasps> sweet. Wardsmith. I think that you are onto something dripping milk, whipping cream. A teaspoon of hot vinegar? White, White vinegar. vinegar. Apple, Apple cider, cider vinegar. vinegar. Red, Red wine, wine vinegar. vinegar. But like, do we want Red vinegar, vinegar with this? Are we making cheese curdles? I've never made cheese curdles. 
Are there any that I said? Apple cider. I said that. Rice vinegar. I, just, I didn't say that. You didn't. To here, here you are. are. To a another bowl. No. Okay, here. Let's just do a separate bowl first. Okay, and, and then we, we can always combine yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Quarter cup. Whipping cream. I'm like kind of second guessing everything we did now. Ah, whatever. Let's just do it. One cup mascarpone. I think vinegar comes with a lot of science. I'm down to use a hint. You're down to use a hint? Yes. Hint number one. Don't think of it as spicy. Think of it as temperature. Our glaze. Oh, our glaze. <laughs> Yeah, but first I'll take a teaspoon of this mixture and add it to here. What do you think send it means? Set aside. Set aside, I like that. Next step. Step number four, over a large area, add two cups dust, one teaspoon breadcrumbs, half a teaspoon yeast powder, one tablespoon sugar, and a half teaspoon the ends? Okay, so we're gonna make a dough on I the- I feel okay right, right now. now. In a large bowl, add two cups of flour, mm -hmm. one teaspoon yeast. Wavy mini yeast powder is baking powder. Yeah, baking powder. Yes. Half teaspoon yeast. I think it's just baking powder. I think powder. it's not yeast, I think it's baking powder. Yes. I think yeast is a lie. Yeast powder? <sighs> Damn, but that one time I didn't put in yeast, I really, really screwed myself over. <laughs> okay, how about we rock, paper, scissors? Okay. If you win, we do baking soda. If I win, we do yeast. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot! Yes! Yeast. <laughs> All right, get your yeast. Do you even see yeast? No. Okay, well. All purpose. Cake flour. Coconut flour. <laughs> My gut is telling me it's regular flour. I'm always down for AP flour. Okay, let's just do AP. Let's just do <laughs> I think let's go yeast. Let's go yeast and baking powder, not soda. What kind of sugar do we think? I think granulated. Okay, let's do granulated. Half a teaspoon in the end. The end, I'm going home. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, yes. I think maybe that's salt. Whatever, let's go. If it's too salty. Oh, well. Step number five. Set the ball and two and a half cups waves and dry the mousse. Unfortunately, the blend is well mixed and does not wrinkle. And cut two and a half cups waves in the dry mousse. So that's, I think, is the dry mousse. So maybe we need. Is that weird to put that in there and then like we mix until it's smooth? I think that's correct. So we'll set the ball in two and a half cups waves and dry in the dry mousse. They are laughing at us. I'm not. <laughs> this feels wrong. Help us. Step number six, then warm awesome electric finished. <laughs> <laughs> then warm awesome electric finished. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what else you would do with those right now. Let rest in a warm place. Yeah. Electric finish? Bowl or preheat an oven? But they didn't give us a degree. So let's put it in a bowl. Let's cover it up. Let's wait till electric finishes. Step seven, place one tablespoon in a pot and make a three inch cassette. If it appears on the form, delete ooh, it. Ooh, ooh, one tablespoon of oil in a pot maybe? I was thinking that. And then you make it three inches like a, oh my God, like a cassette player, like a disc player. Boom box, like. You know, your old cassette player, but it's Discman, Walkman. Discman does not. <laughs> Did you have a Walkman? <laughs> Disc, cassette, circles. Three inch, inch circle. circle. Yes. If it Once, rises it to... ri Once it comes to temperature, drop it in. Drop it in. <laughs> drop, drop it in. So one, one tablespoon of oil, oil is so, so little. little. Wait, I see waffle makers. Warm, warm heat. The, the waffle maker. The, the, yeah. Oh, I oh. love that. Yeah! Like you line it with oil once it's hot. Yes, this I think one tablespoon oil makes sense. Okay, delete it. If it browns, remove. If it burns, remove. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. three inches, but how thick? Yeah. Half an inch. Half an inch. Oh! It's so cute! Are we making soup? <laughs> if so, I'm so excited. Look at these cuties. So we're just gonna keep doing this, adding oil, adding thin little things of dough. And then we'll move on to we'll the next step. We'll move on to the next step. So we've made what look like shrimp waffles. They are pretty cute. Now step eight says, send to disc, add the corn and stir. You need to double the creams and roll the sides. Is it set the disc in that? And then you need to roll it in that? Corn Starch? There's literally corn on the <laughs> We're not gonna get tricked, my mama. <laughs> <laughs> not today, Kelly. We're supposed to go in the dough then. We're like thinking double the cream. We have no cream. We had cream, but the cream is in the dough. <laughs> <laughs> 
So now we're backtracking. Step five is to set the ball in two and a half cup waves. Now understanding that wave Wad. is water. I think we can kind of make a filling. Yes. Okay, let's. I'm gonna get a bowl. So we can use ricotta cheese as a filling. Okay, that can make a sweet filling. Yeah. And then some sweet dripping milk. I mean, yeah. we're just going rogue now. <laughs> yeah, and then it was that hot vinegar, which we know is a syrup. We've already taken a little bit of a detour. So to the filling, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of orange marmalade. So we have made our new filling. Send to disc. Grab your disc, add the filling, and spread. You need to double the creams and roll the sides. And press down. Yes. Until it comes out on the side. I like that, yes. Oh! What did you guys do? Realized we messed up and we used the mascarpone in, into the dough, but we need the filling. So we made new filling. With ricotta. With ricotta. Step number nine. The list is based on the number and quality of items. Maybe just repeat with the rest? Use the rest based on how many waffles you, you have. have. We've done that, let's move on to the next step. Step 10, vegetable oil is great at 350 degrees east. <laughs> Wait, Wait, this, this is, is... Okay, we have, have, we have, we have messed up. up. What? We need to fry something at 350 degrees. We need like a pot of oil at 350 degrees. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I think we should fry these now. And then, then after we take it out, we can glaze it with this. Were we not supposed to use the waffle maker? I think it's bring vegetable oil to 350. Step 11, please send pie in advance to the customer. Please fry before serving. Oh, yeah. All right, you wanna read the next one? You. Place the dishes on the table for about three to five minutes or until all the children are warm. Fry it for about three to five minutes or until it's golden brown. I'm scared of oil. <laughs> <laughs> Step 13. <laughs> This is the best way to make love. Big Bird, calm down. What could that have possibly translated from? This is best served warm. Should I read the next line? Let's do it. No. No. Love. Maybe the syrup is love? Perhaps we dip it in here or brush it over. Maybe brush it over? Brush it over. All right, so what are we doing? The best way to make love is to... <laughs> <laughs> I would just brush it. I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> we haven't either. <laughs> Next step. Add a portion of salted bread and pickled nuts. Pickled nuts. Here's nuts, pistachios, pecans. You have a hint. You have one hint left. Oh. Oh my god. Let's use it. Activate hint. What color are pickles? Green. Salted pistachios. And we need to like probably really We have processed the pickled nuts. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna coat yeah. the top. I think that's nice. Step 15, do it again with another cake. Done, we Done. did it, Big Bird. Step, Step 16, 16. Surprising. surprising. Whoa, I, I can't believe it's done. Let's plate it and then bring in the real thing. That sounds I'm good. I'm excited to see it. I'm a little terrified. <laughs> okay, I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Three, I did two. It. <laughs> do I open? Yes. Oh. We made something that's so different. What is this called? Ataya. Wow. wow. It's a Middle Eastern pancake. They do it in different countries differently, but this is one version. Mm. I cannot wait to try it. I can't wait to try it. It's so different. Should we try ours first? Wow. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. So many feelings. A part of me feels like it doesn't actually match, but when you keep chewing, the balance starts to come together. I love the texture. It's like crunchy, but a little bit soft because of the glaze. Mmm. It's actually good. Mm. Do you want to try this one? Mmm. Oh, a lot more flavor. Although I do like the flavor of this one more, I like the texture of Big Bird. This is very good. This was very fun. I think two people did make it harder. <laughs> and you guys made it very hard. Okay, this was so much fun. Kelly, Mimo, y'all really got us back this time. If you guys have more recipe ideas, please message me at my Instagram and don't put it in the comments because Jasmine will definitely read it. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. I don't okay, take yeah. these, you take that one. Wait, I want some of that too. Oh, I'm not giving it.